I didn't really plan on doing any more episodes where I open cards, because obviously this is Vintage Toy Freedom, but I like to change it up a little bit. And plus, these DC Cosmic cards, these are my, my all-time favorite trading cards. Um, even more than the X-Men Fleer Ultra and, and some of those others. I, I love these as a kid. Um, I found this pack at a comic book store in Salem, Massachusetts. I, I forget the name. And, you know, $2 is twice as much as I would like to pay for these, but I couldn't pass it up. These are from 1991, made by Impel. And Green Lantern, my favorite DC comics character. And I actually have almost the full set here. I had a lot from childhood, and I, I don't know what happened to them. Um... There's some other card sets mixed in here, but you can see here, I got a big stack, and what's interesting, I'll move these guys to the side, so I was in, uh, I used to live in Syracuse, New York, and they have a really cool like flea market slash farmer's market, so on, I believe it's Saturdays, it's a farmer's market, and then on Sundays, it's a flea market, anyway, You'll get some people that come there, and they will um, just bring in bins. I guess they just buy out storage uh, places, things like that, and just bins, and people will crowd around and open them, and then just, like, go nuts. And I found these cards, I mean, just dumped. I mean, this this box was just dumped. And you can, I mean, if you've been to, into any kind of, like, comic or card store, I mean, they have these, you know, they're pretty, pretty common. Um... And so this was just, you know, empty, upside down, and I, I dug through and got out as many as I could. And even with all these, I don't have a full set. I'm missing a few, which is obviously um, annoying because, you know, it's kind of hard to, and expensive to buy the individual cards. And if I bought the whole set again, you know, then, then what? I have all these extras. But anyway, I'm hoping to find some of the ones I need in here. But these cards, obviously you can see there, there's a lot. And as a kid, so these came out when I was nine years old. And, you know, you have some of your classics, your Green Lanterns, your Hawkman, Shazam, Superman, obviously, Wonder Woman. Um, but then it goes, it gets deep. It gets kind of deep in the, you know, you have Firehawk, Gangbuster, uh, Geoforce. You know, we're getting deep into the DC Comics catalog of characters, Mr. Bones. And, um... There's one in particular, or actually two in particular that I was really... Ragman. He's everybody's favorite. So this one, Big Sir. Um, I always thought he was cool because he's weird. He's a Flash villain. And on the back it tells you their... Uh, basically their, their statistics and their weapon, their first appearance. A little bit about them and then... Um, you know, there's kind of a trivia. So I would look at these cards... You know, when we take a long car ride or, you know, up to like grandma's house or wherever and, you know, just flip through them and look at the cool artwork. This is by, yeah, Carmen Infantino. You know, there's a, lot, a lot of them are, are by him. A lot of classic stuff in there. And, you know, there's a lot to read. I mean, so if you had, you know, a stack of these, you could get, um, <clears throat> flip through them, find out some random information, you know, kill some time on your, your car ride. So... Anyway, enough about the DC co Cosmic cards, but again, those are my my all-time favorite trading cards. <clears throat> so I was pretty pretty stoked to see this. They only had one pack, um, and Green Lantern, again, my favorite one, my favorite DC superhero. So I'm going to open these up, and we'll see what we get. There are 12 cards per pack and some random holograms. I actually don't own any of the holograms, so that'd be something if I got some in here. Right, so let's see, we have Monarch, I'm not really familiar with who Monarch is. Uh, Arisia, she is a Green Lantern, and actually how Jordan had a thing for her, which was a little weird because she was a teenager. All-Star Comics number three, first appearance of the JSA. Silver Age Cheetah. Black Manta, Aquaman villain. Dr. Light. Invasion, kind of a dumb DC crossover. Another Dr. Light, so we have two... Two Dr. Lights. There's Nightwing, the former Robin. Mr. Nebula, he's a cool one. I'm not really familiar with Mr. Nebula. That's from the Justice League of America. So that's like the uh, 
uh, Keith Giffen. I forget the leader's name. Ice. She's a cool. She's also from that. And in showcase number 22, the first appearance of the Silver Age Green Lantern. Classic cover. So, so these are pretty cool. You know, I mean, especially if you have a, like, if Green Lantern is your favorite, you could always, I don't know, hang that on your wall or get a little frame or something like that. But yeah, so I'm gonna dig through these here in a second and see if I'm missing any. I think I might actually, so that'd be that would be kind of cool. So this is, this is obviously a pretty uh, good Green Lantern. You got the Golden Age Green Lantern there with the JSA. So thanks for watching. This was the DC Cosmic Cards from Impel 1991. Uh, bring me back to being nine years old and really really digging these cards. So thank you for watching.